Here I am in Pro Tools. I'm going to show you how to set up Pro Tools to send audio from Pro Tools to SessionWire Studio using our batch of plugins. We have a whole suite of plugins you can download and install if you have a SessionWire account. Log into your account at studio.sessionwire.io, head to the Downloads tab in the left hand menu and download the appropriate plugin package. If you don't have a SessionWire account, you can still download the plugins. Go to support.sessionwire.com, look up plugins in there. You can download them and install them so that if somebody invites you into their SessionWire studio, you can still stream audio in, even though you don't have an account. Pretty cool. Here I have a blank, uh, semi-blank Pro Tool session. I've got a little loop in here. Let's have a listen. Sounds really great. I'm going to insert the session wire send plugin on this master fader. We'll see if we get signal. Looks good. Now you can insert this send plugin after all of your master effects. You insert it before all of your master effects. You can insert it anywhere. Just know that any audio that touches this send plugin will end up in your session wire studio. Speaking of, let's flip over to my studio. At the bottom, we see a little list of menu items here. This is for the talkback stream that you set up like Zoom. This one is for the high quality audio stream that you will set up. This is where the audio from Pro Tools is going to end up. Click the down arrow. Make sure that your HQ audio source is set to session wire send plugin. The source being where the HQ audio is coming from on your machine. The send plugin, we'll select it. We'll go back to Pro Tools. And we can see I now have signal showing up in my stereo meters in session wire which means that anybody that connects to me in my studio will be able to hear the audio coming from my Pro Tools session. That's how to set up to send audio from Pro Tools. We're gonna leave bringing audio from SessionWire into Pro Tools for another video. It's a little bit more complex, but it's really not that bad. If you have any questions for us in the meantime, reach out to us at support at sessionwire.com or visit our knowledge base at support.sessionwire.com.